I've got a big project today. I'm going to be making another batch of jam. I made um, peach jam yesterday with these beautiful tasty peaches I picked up at the farmer's market. And so today I want to make one more batch. It, I have a playlist um, and I'll link it below where you can see all the jams that I have made. Jams is where I started to learn how to can and it is perfect for beginners. And that's why I wanted to do this video because I know a lot of people have no idea how to can and jam is the perfect place to start. When I was about 16, I started making strawberry jam and that's how I learned. So you just need a box of Sure Gel. You need plenty of sugar, lemon juice, and then inside the Sure Gel box is the directions. And you just follow them step by step. There's six steps. That's how easy it is. So I'm gonna run it through, show you how to do peaches, but you can also do apricots, any kind of berry, blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, cherries. You can buy figs. I have a fig tree loaded, so I'll be making figs. Hot pepper relish. Um, orange marmalade would be so good at Christmas time to give as Christmas gifts. Peach, pear, plum, strawberry, and triple berry. So not only can you make jam to have the recipes for that, but you can also make jellies. And if you're still intimidated about canning, guess what? On the other side, you can do freezer jam and freezer jelly, and it's just as good. So if you're new and you wanna learn, pick you up some sure gel and some fruit, and let's get started. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So I've got my three pounds of peaches weighed out, I'm gonna wash them, got my jars in the canner, so let's get cooking. All right, I've washed the peaches and I've got a small paring knife and I'm going to be peeling them and then I take my peach and cut it into wedges as you can see here. Um, you've got that pit to deal with so it's easy if you cut it in wedges and then just using your hand and the knife just chop it in little bits right into a measuring cup and we for this recipe we need four cups of finely chopped peaches i like to get everything set up i've got my half pint jelly jars getting sterilized. I've got everything ready to start canning. Um, and then over on the other side of the stove, I have a steel pot with my four cups of chopped peaches, the sugar already measured out, the lemon juice and butter. So everything is ready to go. And I don't have to stop and prepare anything. That's just the way I like to do it. So I'm going to be pouring the peaches into the big steel pot and you want a deep pot because when this starts to boil you don't want it to boil over and that's easy to do if you use a smaller pan. So now I'm just opening up the Sure Gel pack and pouring that right on top of the chopped peaches and then I'm going to be adding the two tablespoons of lemon juice. You can use fresh or bottled. Then a half a teaspoon of butter, and this helps to cut down on the foaming. If you don't use the butter, a big foam builds up, and you don't want that in your jam. So I always put a half a teaspoon of butter in, and then I'm just stirring it to dilute all of that sure gel. Got it on a medium high, and I'm going to bring this to a boil stirring constantly and you stir it um, until there's the boil does not stop so now i'm going to pour in all the sugar yes that is a lot of sugar five and a half cups but when you eat jam you normally only eat at least two tablespoons on a sandwich or a biscuit so i i look at it that way that i'm i'm not eating the whole five and a half cups of sugar at one time then you're just gonna keep stirring this until all that sugar dissolves. You don't walk away, you stay right with your um, pot. Now you can see it's a little more translucent. The sugar has dissolved. And I need to bring this to a rapid boil. So it was probably seven to eight minutes of standing here stirring until I got that really good rapid boil that you see here. And then you set a timer for one minute. 
keep stirring during that one minute and then after the timer goes off you cut off the heat and you immediately take your pot off of the stove. Now you can see why it's important to have everything set up because you're supposed to start pouring into the jars as soon as you take the pot off the heat. So I'm going to be pulling out the little half pint jelly jars and you can get these at grocery stores and Walmart now and then I start ladling in the jam. Now this will thicken up as it cools and it is so delicious, smells so good, I wish you could smell it. So I'm leaving a one inch head space at the top and then I use a tool to debubble and then we're going to wipe off that rim with a paper towel or a clean cloth. You don't want any sticky residue on that glass rim because it will mess up your seal. And I have my jar lid sitting in some hot water and then I just put on a ring and fingertip tight. Now I'm gonna put this right back into that canner pot and then pull out another jar and keep it, keep repeating the process until all seven jars are filled. Now this is a very nice big steel pot that I already have. It is not a water bath canner per se, but I do use it when I'm doing jelly jars. And in the bottom, I have my rack from my pressure canner. And I'm just using this today to water bath can this jam. I do need a new water bath canner. I have totally worn mine out and I'll leave you um, some pictures of some canners that I highly recommend off of Amazon and I'm going to be ordering one of those for myself. But this works fine. I put the lid on and let these jars boil for 15 minutes. Now, after 15 minutes, I cut the heat off. I took the lid off and I let the boil come to a stop and then I start taking out the jars and you will hear a ping when you take your jars out and that means they have sealed. So this is considered water bath canning and that's what you can do with most jams and jellies. It's easy and it's perfect for beginners. And here's 14 jars of delicious peach jam perfect for gift giving or putting in your pantry and the rest of those peaches I will be freezing for later. Now here are the two canning water bath canning kits that I highly recommend. I really like the stainless steel one. It comes with all the supplies that you need to get started for water bath canning and these can be found at Amazon or Walmart. This is my all-time favorite book. I saw this at Walmart today for about $10, and I highly recommend this book. Now, I have a playlist of all different kinds of jams that I've been making, and when I make one, I add it to this playlist. So make sure you go check that out, and think about the coming months, what you can be canning. I am thinking about apples and oranges. This fall, I really want to do some apples, and around Christmas time, some orange marmalade. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know if you've got the desire to start canning on your own.